Hey, what is up, everybody? It's your boy King K, and welcome back to another Forza Motorsport video. Now, what I got for you all today is some gameplay for one of my recent streams, in which I not only won my first race, but twice, back to back. I'm not going to keep you all too long in the intro, though. I'll let the gameplay speak for itself. As always, if you guys are new to the channel and want to see more of this content, be sure to head down below, hit that subscribe button, and if you guys enjoy, okay, see that? Be sure to smash the like button as it always helps with my content. Without further ado though, let's get into the action. Alright, so even though this is from, like I mentioned, one of my previous live streams, I still wanted to do a little bit of narrating just to help us quickly get through the practice and qualifying sessions for both of these races. So for the first race, I pretty much only did around about two or three practice sessions before hopping straight into qualifying. Because at this point in time, I knew the track pretty decently. And honestly, I was only playing qualifier series because my friends still needed to do their first three races before we could get into all of the other events. Now, whilst you guys are watching some of the qualifying, I'd like to answer a comment that I got in one of my recent short videos concerning Forza Motorsport. Basically, the person said that due to the fact that I'm using a third person camera and the racing line, I'm either a noob or I don't want to go fast. I'll excuse the fact that the wording of the comment was actually pretty rude, but I will like to answer it. In terms of the racing line, I would just like to clarify that I do not play racing games very often. Matter of fact, I barely do. For most of the part, I only play FPS or RPG games. The only proper racing game I played recently is Formula One. And Formula One, unfortunately, doesn't have most of the tracks that's within Forza Motorsport. So purely due to that fact, I don't actually know most of the tracks. And that's why I use the racing line, because I am still learning. As for why I race in third person or the car follow-up camera, there's a few reasons for that. Now, firstly, I play on controller. I don't have a wheel or a sim wheel or a full sim setup whatsoever, which means I don't have any force feedback outside of a little bit of vibration within the controller itself. Due to that fact, I have pretty much no feedback to how my car is handling outside of some skidding noises from the tires. So I race in third person so that I can actually visibly see if the rear of my car is spinning out. Furthermore, in Formula 1, I race using the TV pod cam because all of the cars behave in a very similar way. However, Forza Motorsport, there's a very large variety of cars and a lot of them handle very differently from one another. So I've pretty much learned how the cars operate within Formula 1, but having to change cars within pretty much every single event within this game means that it's going to take longer for me to adapt to how multiple different cars behave. So I need to visibly see how the car is behaving in turns, on straights, under braking, etc. in order for me to learn. I've also recently watched a Super GT video and I mean the dude is a legend and great at sim racing on the wheel and he also plays in third person so I really am not feeling well ashamed for my driving style or how I play this game. After all and I know it's not really anything to brag about or boast about but I have an S tier safety rating and like 4500 skill rating, which is pretty high up there and I'm proud of it. Anyways, back to the topic at hand. The first race qualifying session, by the end of it I managed to land myself a P2 position because the guy in front was honestly quite fast. Now just before we get into the race itself, I'd just like to point out that for both this race and the next one, the competition was pretty high and I really enjoyed it because throughout both of the races, despite well qualifying pretty high up there and often taking the lead very early on, the races were competitive and intriguing and well respectful, believe it or not. Again though, I'll let the gameplay speak for itself. I hope you guys enjoy the first race. I'll see you all again in the second. Someone didn't start the race, dude. <laughs> oh, boy. Dude, why is this guy crashing into me the whole time? My driver out of me. Bro! I'd 
these I'm people live the in lead. a friend. Nah, uh, most of them haven't, honestly. This guy is going completely off the track. I forgot to put my arrows on. Your arrows on? You get the, the arrows that tell you people are nearby. Oh yeah, it should. I don't know if it has the arrows because it would have helped. No, it does have the arrows. Okay. Also a bit mine on them. Me and this dude have just a battle of our own, dude. What the f Yeah, I'm just on like a lap right now, dude. As in good? So what I've noticed is they even turn the steering wheel slightly while braking because then you're just going to slide. Yeah. This guy is so much better than me to turn one. As long as you're better than him in most other places, no one's fine. Um, especially this middle sector, but he's taken. Are we having a fucking war up here, dude? This guy with the Red Bull delivery just keeps on out breaking himself. And then he smacks into the track at random places, bro. Hello? You just caused me to lose so much time to the people ahead of me, bro. Honestly. This guy just fucking hits me in the ass and then he takes the position and keeps going with it. Like we've been having such a good and clean race up until there dude, holy fuck. No, dude! It's honestly AIDS to play against these people, really. 
Like, why can't they, they break, dude? Are they retarded? Sorry. Hey, yo. Oh, he fucked up. He fucked up. He fucked up. <laughs> he, he tried to do what I do. He took too much speed into the corner and he spun out, dude. He, he overdid it. Because I've been like outpacing him around that corner every lap. Oh, my soul. Dreb, this is right. it, dude. You're winning. Yeah, he's 6.2 now behind me with a 0.7 penalty. That's great, dude. I'm for glad. hitting me earlier. The guy who crashed into me got a 4 second penalty. <laughs> Deserved it. No, so I coast into that one corner that I told you about. And I, every time I outpace him on it. So I think he tried to do the same thing and it just he overcooked it. And he just ended up That's fucking great. out breaking and spinning. Now, but props to him. For the most part, it was a really good battle. He kept up with me the entire lap through. Let's go. Let's go, chat. Let's go. Nice, man. Eight positions? Holy shit. No, P4. Sorry about that. No, P... Yeah, no. Oh, yeah, P4. Holy shit, oh, First W, boys. First W. By, like, the third lap, we were, like, six seconds ahead of P3. And it was just us two throughout the whole race. And then he, at one point he got past me. Although it was kind of a dirty move, I will admit. And he kept going. But then he outbraked himself in the corner that I keep beating him in. Tr probably trying to get more, like, time. And he just fucking outbraked and spun himself. Too bad some people don't know how to break. But anyway. No, that's like everyone, though. No, I got crashed off the circuit twice. I just want to see myself on that fucking podium. And I still managed to get past eight people. Yeah, that's dude in second. Oxford. Let's go. <laughs> Alright, so for the second race, me and my friends actually ended up joining very, very late into the event. Meaning that there was pretty much no time to actually do any practice. So I hopped straight into quali. Now, once again, I knew this track pretty well at this point, doing the qualifier series several times over. And I mean, the qualifier series doesn't have many tracks available to it. By the end of qualifying, however, I managed to land myself my first ever pole position. And well, I was both happy and extremely scared about going into the first corner and getting punted straight off the road because the guy behind me was actually really fast. Now, I will say that for majority of this race, I pretty much led from the get go. But it started getting really, really scary at the end when my tires were wearing and I started making minor mistakes. But hey, stick around and watch to find out for yourself. Well, I didn't well, like I spin out. Right. I spun out completely, but <laughs> besides the point. You nearly didn't, is what you're trying to say. Yeah, that's final corner, you have to break hard. I've learned my yeah. lesson. Okay, well, I currently have P1. There's a level 929 in the lobby, by the way. How do you even reach that level so Must be, fast, must dude? be XP or like XP bugs or something. There's a guy that's level 586. Okay, only goal. Don't get rammed in the arse into turn one. Okay.
Yeah, let's get it. Oh, I was a little bit late on the fucking accelerator, but I think it's fine. I just need to hold the inside line, yeah. Already got crashed into you? <laughs> I think I saw you. Because the people don't brake, dude, they just turn. I think I just saw you get rammed into the fucking barrier. Nah, no, I'm not in a barrier, I'm still going, but... Come on, baby. Come on. What is this okay of me doing? It's like crashing into me the whole time, dude. Oh, I got a time penalty for that. Why? Bro, he keeps you? crashing into me from behind. This old guy did. Holy shit, mate. Come on. This purple guy keeps crashing into me, dude. He has two second penalty already, but he and still keeps, keeps turning going. into me on trades. <laughs> Way too heavy on the brakes there. Come on, Kiva. Lag Dude, below. he crashed into me again, mate. Dude. <laughs> Sounds rough back there, dude. Dude, it's like he's doing it on purpose as well. He probably is. <laughs> he probably is, dude. I'm not gonna lie. My tires are flipping cooked. Bro, because there's this guy keep crashing into me and I keep sliding. And I have no grip. With two people behind me chasing me down. And this guy's on my ass. He's gonna not break, he's gonna hit me too. Come on. I got this.
Nah, dude, my tires are down there. Are you on the soft? I can't turn. No, I'm on medium. But How I kept getting crashed into, done? so... Because I spun around like four times, dude. Yeah. Uh... Come on, chap. Come on, one more. One more. Final lap. You got this. God damn it, dude, he's catching fucking hell. Come on, baby. Oh, no. Oh, no. No shot, dude. What happened? You fucking... Oh, you got a 1.4 second penalty, you dipshit. Uh, holy fuck, dude. Back to back chat. The dude sent it. I messed up on the second last corner. And ended up a little bit on the dirt, but not like oh, yeah. in a beneficial way. That but he caught up like a well, lot. Dude. But then in the final turn, he decides to send it in on my like on my inside from like he's a second back, dude. But he sent it on my inside from a second back and punted me nearly off the track, and he got a fucking uh, like a a one point four second penalty for it. Nice, so he deserves. So I still, yeah, this Berg Juden. He kept up with me most of the race. Let's go, chat. Oh, my word.